Hello, 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 and welcome down to yet another episode of the As Of Yet award-winning Rough Cut Golf Podcast. And boy, oh boy, have we so much to talk about this week as we launch into a new year and rock the world of professional golf once again. Just because it's not been shaken up quite enough in the last 12 months. And with me today, of course, we have Mick, we have Kieran, and we have Jacob, all looking absolutely resplendent on this slightly sunny Monday here in Manchester. Wherever you're listening from, I hope you are well. I hope life is treating you averagely to a good. Like on a scale. <laughs> yeah. Average to good. Average to good. Yeah. I think I think that's all you can really ask for. What more can you want? Yeah, no, because like we've got to be realistic. Like everyone listening to this might not be having a great time. And if you're not, then I hope it improves. Okay. Just in general. Yeah. What if they're having like a really, really good time? Then be prepared for it to all come crashing down. <laughs> because enjoy is, that high. This is life. It and this is it will not last. This is what happens. This this is exactly what happened to me when I came out from Dubai. I was feeling great. Oh my and god, then yes. I just even, got punched in the face. We haven't even spoken about Dubai yet. So do you want to tell us about it technically it was a holiday? I went I, I went on holiday. <laughs> but the sticks went. Oh yeah. Wow. Um and there was there was, you know, some social content filmed, which is great. There was some Practicing on a range, which is great. Any short game practice? Any putting practice? Uh, yes and yes. Oh my god, that's really good. I, I had like a full day of practice. Like I one, went, yeah, full day. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, I guess like a lot. That's a lot. Like it, it involved both day and nighttime practice. Oh, oh, because you played a night golf round. Yeah, and I practiced putting and chipping in under the floodlights as well oh with my. no cameras. What? Um, Take if, it seriously. If you didn't know already, Peter Finch is somewhat adverse to playing golf if it doesn't involve filming it. <laughs> um, so you playing semi-social golf? You played on uh, was, you played on Liv Cook's channel. Listen, there was there was a lot going on because I'm adverse to a few things. I'm <laughs> adverse to holidays, and I'm adverse to yeah practicing or playing Spending without time a camera. With Carly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> didn't say that. <laughs> as, as long as we get a solid 12 hours working, I think it's a perfect day. Um, but I was convinced. I'll see you at bedtime. <laughs> I was convinced by my young lady to uh, go to Dubai and have a holiday. And it was actually pretty good. Have I, have I, told, have I told you guys anything about this? Yeah, no, well, no. Yeah, all we know is about is the, um, is the like, hot air balloon. The hot air balloon, yeah. yeah that's yeah. all we know. And you, you played the Earth course, right? Uh, yeah, I played course, the Earth yeah. course and then played uh, with Liv on her channel and the floodlights as and well. And that, so. that, that was towards the end of the week, wasn't it, you played? It literally the last day. So, so your last moment of being in Dubai was playing probably your least favourite hole in the world. Is your last moment of no, leaving no, Dubai? No, play, no, play night golf. Play the night. Oh, play okay. night golf. Yeah, okay, yeah. That's but at least you left on a you know what? We're positive not, note. Can, can we have this? Just Can we just please have one episode where we don't, don't talk about the 18th at the Earth Club? <laughs> I'm sick of talking about it. Um, you know I mean? The only time... The only thing that we need to stop talking about is Didsbury Golf Club. It's <laughs> <laughs> got another no, mention. There, there it is. You go. You're back, mm, There it is. It will never die. Um, but yeah, it was great. I tell you what, I think this might be the best holiday I've had where, as, as far as food... Is concerned. Oh, oh. Like I, I, we consistently ate fantastic food. Cool. Um, where were you staying? Just give me a little shout out for having nice food. Uh, we were staying on the, I don't know what you call it, the girthy bit of the palm. Um, <laughs> the, the stalk, the, the, the trunk, stem, the, the, stem, the, okay, stem. the stem. I think the stem. Is yeah. that what, is that? Um, what's the, what's the really fancy um, hotel? Like Burge, Atlantis. 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 Yeah. Atlantis. Yeah. That is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you staying there? <laughs> they're right on the tippity top aren't they yeah yeah so yeah, they're, they're, yeah. we prime time where do you stay Radisson the Radisson something it was fine that's it, a hotel it, yeah. it, it, no, other, no, other it hotel nice chains hotel. are available yeah definitely <laughs> for, um, now, for now unless you want to give us some money <laughs> it was it was a nice it was a nice hotel it was fine it felt like almost like you could use it to go on a business trip and go on a holiday got you yeah. uh, and but it had a beach and it had a nice pool and it had a rooftop bar and it had um Oof. The only problem was the the bar at the bottom. It only did Stella for beer. <laughs> well, and again, other other what? other beers are available. Well problems on our right. yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I don't mind a Stella. No. We know. Yeah, I don't <laughs> yeah, mind a Stella. You seem like a Stella kind of guy. But it's just like you know, as, as opposed to what did they have at the top? What were you missing out on that didn't get to the bottom bar? Yeah, oh, oh no! Yeah, they just had Stella upstairs. Oh right, so it was everywhere. So yeah, they just... it was, I think that was like the beer of the month, I think. But it was just, 
Yeah, yeah, I've got a guest uh, nail on. Been. You might not have heard of it. <laughs> yeah, it was. It it's was called Stella Artois. Yeah, it was. It was fine. But we did find a couple of other places that sold a multitude of different um, fizzy wheat-based beverages. So mm. I think we were we were fine in the end. But I have to tell you about the Indian. Oh my god! Honestly, right? Okay. So Pre- we went. We went to some nice restaurants. Preface this with your enjoyment of spicy food to start with. Uh, yeah, I love spicy food. Yeah. I love anything anything as with hot spice as in possible. It. Yeah, anything that yeah. anything that has a chili approaching the pot is fine by me. <laughs> but but okay. This Indian, okay, Little Miss India is called. Mm. And it was in the Hotel of the Fairmont, which is a nice oh. big hotel. And we also went to a golf course. Uh, yeah. We went to a Chinese <laughs> which was quite nice in there as well, but as we walked out, there was this place called Little Miss India and I thought, you know what? I really fancy a curry now. now. Right now, we've well, just had I, a Chinese. I, I really fancy a curry, so I said, right, we're coming back here. I said, right, fine. We went in, and the kitchen, we sat inside, um, and the kitchen was, like, encased in glass, so you could see what all the chefs were doing. First really good sign, they all looked like they were having the best time ever. Right. Like, That's they were good. laughing, they were joking. They had the tandoor ovens in there, so you could see exactly what they were doing. And then I ordered a lot of things, but... <laughs> For my main, I ordered this shrimp curry, right? This going shrimp curry, mm. slightly spicy. And these guys were cooking these um, these shrimps, basically these massive. They, they were prawns, but they were like langoustines, but they were massive. And they were cooking them in the tandoor. And honestly, I was like, "Oh my god, this is coming my way." It was like a, a, a skewer of these half lobsters that they were sticking in there, and my, my, my mouth is literally watering <laughs> just thinking about it. Honestly, if you ever get the chance, go. It's incredible. The The idea of watching your food be cooked is like either you're like, oh my God, this is like a magician at work. Or it's like, don't show me yeah. that bit. Mm. Just bring it out so that I can eat it without the, you know, knowing how it was made. <laughs> yeah, 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 it, it could yeah. be terrifying. Yeah. But in this case, it was gratifying. Excellent. And satisfying to the taste buds. What else have you got? Um, mortifying. I, the, the, no, it wasn't mortifying. Why would you go mortifying? Um, that nine hole play with play along with me was mortifying. Oh yeah, God, I watched that. Honestly, yeah. that was a tricky watch. So I, <laughs> I really, really struggle uh, with that golf course. Just, just full stop. I, I, for some reason, off the tee, I, I can't visualize where the ball's got to go because uh, the, well, the, the Kieran, bunkering is tough to. Kieran knows this more than anybody because he seems to be the one who just gets me moaning about it all the time. <laughs> I absolutely despise when there's a perfectly good golf hole and then the designer, in this case, Mr. Greg Norman, sticks something in the middle of the fairway, like a bunker or a water hazard on the 18th. I don't agree with it. I think it's lazy. I think it's annoying. I don't think you should be, I don't think you should be punished for hitting a good shot in the middle of the fairway. Right. So anyway, if you play the earth course... There's bunkers everywhere, but there's several bunkers like smack bang in the middle of a fairway. Mm. So if you hit it straight, you get punished. Yeah, but straight away off the tee, I'm annoyed. <laughs> From the get-go. It doesn't look nice. So I'm, I'm playing like angry. You know what I mean? Oh, that's not what you want. I always say I quite enjoy those courses because I quite like the fact that there is more to it than just whack. Oh, oh. <laughs> the fingers both went up. I was in the, I'm about to get an absolute telling off here. <laughs> you, you prod your finger forward. Like yeah, first. If you're watching that on YouTube, I'm about to get rinsed here. <laughs> go on. Is that because you hit it short and those bunkers don't matter? Uh, <laughs> probably, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh. Now you get it. That's brutal. Um, go on. I, no, I won't do that. Take two. I, I have a higher <laughs> opinion of uh, Jacob's game. Okay, what was your finger for then? Uh, my finger was four. I agree with Jacob, but the only problem is You're like, a short knocker. <laughs> if you hit it over one of the bunkers, there's generally like a downslope and another hazard waiting. Okay. So oh, yeah. right. like okay. so strategically. So yeah. punished anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you're being punished. Sorry, by the way. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was so Do you know why yeah, I thought I that? It's because I that that is the same thing that I would think. Like, oh, that doesn't matter because I can't reach it anyway. It's also, it's also not not true. So <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> So yeah, I'm playing angry anyway. But one of the things which I really struggle with, the greens were actually quite slow mm. and they were so grainy. Like yeah. I if you're not used to putting on grainy <laughs> greens, it's something which is completely different. It's something which no real experience with. And they were so grainy that I was hitting a straight port, it was a straight port, and it was moving about six inches. Mm. And I'm not I don't know how to deal with that mentally 
or physically. Yeah. Did um did you listen to last week's podcast where we kind of critiqued your game and like said that if there was one area of your game to improve? Did you and did you listen to any of that? I, I've not listened to. Oh, you not no, listened no, no. to. It? Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, don't don't I, worry about that. Should we turn there? <laughs> so, yeah, it's all right. Don't worry about it. I was. Uh, what was the best way of putting this? I was going to, uh, and then Carly gave me a look. Right. So uh, I didn't. Raised her finger. Mm. <laughs> you about to click play on your own <laughs> podcast while yeah. we're on holiday? Exactly. I mean, you know, maybe could have listened to it on the plane or in bed. You know, mm. yeah. <laughs> just, I'm just getting in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just David going. Yeah, minutes short long. game is a worry. <laughs> um, but yeah, the uh, the putting, I was I was having a real, real, real struggle with. So um, the back nine does get better though. Correct, we've only seen half the, yeah, half the, the holes. The back nine does get better, and you almost have a hole in one, so it's worth watching. Oh. We, we, <laughs> we did say, didn't we, when we got in the office this morning, that it was like watching a car crash, but because it was so bad, you just can't look away. Yeah. And it was like watching a... <laughs> Put your finger out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was my finger now. Uh, I, I just want to let everyone know that if I see a really bad car crash, I will look away, because I don't want to see that. That's that's you know, that's, that's a problem. People say that like you know it's so bad you almost, but you can't look away. Cause right. Like, okay. I was I was watching it, and Lauren was like, "What?" It was one of those ones where I reacted to it enough times that Lauren was like, "What are you watching?" She thought I was watching, you know, that video of the guy who jumps off the roof wearing the Wellingtons and his knees, <laughs> his knees hyperextend backwards. I've not seen this. I don't know what if I can find it, I'll send it you to put in. <laughs> but you know, those videos where like something, ha like guy falls off a skateboard, like lands either side of a rail yep, or something yep, yep. you watch it and you're like oh yep. that's the reaction i was doing to your putts on the green i think you guys got to stop watching these videos on the internet <laughs> like well, you you get fed everything on the internet now so yeah, that's true. we're not choosing it's just if given can, to us you can hit the like three little dots and say i'm not interested in this you can you i mean I, you know what? i've never done that. I, i've done that and it, it does work exactly. it does i should work. do yeah, that yeah, yeah. you're just yeah. in this like downward spiral of like these punishing videos. Yeah. i'm getting a lot of rubbish on tiktok at the yeah. minute yeah well there you go so in essence, um, the holiday was good. The golf was bad, um, but I'm happy to be back. And we're leaving again this week, so yeah, you are got the wanderlust. <laughs> we, well, we can only stay in this country for ever so long. I think it's now like written in contract, if I'm right. Yeah, yeah. yeah because you can Yeah, we came back from came back from Carolif California and Arizona, mm. and you were here for literally a day and a half. You must have literally washed your clothes, put them back in your suitcase, and naffed back off. Nah. Less than that. Uh, no, I didn't wash my clothes. No, so. right, okay. <laughs> um, he has another suitcase waiting. Yeah, he already has stuff in Dubai. He stayed in the Radisson, stayed in his house in Dubai. <laughs> yeah, the, the Radisson was a big bluff. I've actually got a permanent room in the Radisson. Yeah. <laughs> the, it's on the, retainer, the just like sweet. Um, and then, yeah, now you are now you lot, you three, in fact, mm. are off to Carolina. Mm. Yeah. Which of the Carolinas? South. Oh. Very important. Although we are actually going into the north as well. Are we? We are straddling Carolina. <laughs> are we really? Mm -hmm. When are we going into the north? <laughs> um, we've think... had you in the shower. <laughs> we've had straddling Carolina. We've had either side of a rail. <laughs> I, I think uh, we go into the north when we go up to, uh, shall we? Oh shall, shall, shall we actually say what we're doing? Yeah, tell yeah, yeah, I was about yeah. to say. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, so let's rewind. The... Okay, so here we go. We leave Blighty. On the Thursday, we fly out through the rain-laden clouds across the Atlantic and then land in the beautiful sunlit isles of Myrtle Beach, where we are going to be taking on a qualifying event in an attempt to play on the PGA Tour, an event which is happening in April. It is us, and it is seven other creators and then eight other actual good golfers. Uh, so we will see what happens there. The video for that is only coming out in April, but we're going to be capturing some stuff with the very many beautiful people who are also there. After Myrtle Beach, we are hopping in the car. We are driving about an hour and a half north, which I think takes us to North Carolina, I think. <laughs> and we are going to be going to somewhere which I wanted to go in so, so ah, long yes. at Pinehurst. Um, I am so excited. Uh, listen, I'm, I'm really excited about the prospect of qualifying for PGA Tour event, but I'm going to be completely <laughs> honest with you. <laughs> I am really looking forward to going to Pinehurst. It looks so cool. Yeah, it's it, cool. It's one of those places... It's, it, I very rarely like make like lists. Like I, I don't have like top countries I want to visit. It's a or... massive lie. All you do is make lists. <laughs> I'm it... looking at about twenty lists behind Mick Z on <laughs> the it... whiteboard. Yeah, these these are all like video stuff. But like 
like you know, or favorite restaurants, Personal right. yeah, yeah, restaurants yeah. I want to go to, mm-hmm. or countries I want to visit, like, sure. things I want to do before I die, all that kind of crap. I don't really do any of that. <laughs> but as far as like places that I want to go play and I want to go visit and I've wanted to visit in ages, Pinehurst is mm-hmm. is is there. It is right up there. Everything about it says to me, you are going to be welcomed with open arms, given a hug and offered an opportunity to stay and never leave. <laughs> we may never come back. Mm. However, that golf course is real hard. Yeah, we are playing the US Open venue. Yeah, I I think obviously knowing it as the, the venue and also know it's obviously Pinus number two, mm. I maybe just out of lack of knowledge, just assume there was three or four golf courses at this New. place. No, there's That's number like, 10. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And there's another course as well, and which is a park cradle. And that's only yeah, the cradle, yeah. which looks sick. And but there's only and that's only Pinehurst Resort. Yeah. Like around that area, there's so many other courses which are, as you may expect, pine and sand based and just everything about it. I'm just so excited to go. It yeah. just looks absolutely unbelievable. Um so we're gonna be doing a bit of filming there. Then we're off to uh, Tobacco Road, which mm-hmm. is another place I've wanted that to go for ages. Lord, the names Again, you're dropping awesome. on this yeah. podcast are just it, nuts. It kind of looks insane. And then hopefully we're going to be uh, getting some videos done with the Bryan Brothers at their golf course at Selena, and then potentially one other venue which we're working on. So it's going to be an incredible trip. It's two weeks. Um, um, I think out of it, did we say about 10 videos? I think we might be able to get. Close to, yeah. Yeah, I think so, nine's the, the aim. Yeah, so that's going to be we'll coming. See what happens. <laughs> so that's how many videos be... can you squeeze out of I come ninth in PGA Tour qualifier? <laughs> Part one. Well, listen, I am going to be happy with ninth. Yeah, if, that if, knife's good. Yeah. If, if I come no, ninth, that, that is going to justify me holding a pretend trophy, saying, "Did I qualify?" Mm. Like, honestly, I, if well, I if I get top ten, that is grounds for me being. A good golfer. I don't know. No idea. Well, this this probably is going to be maybe the last time we get to properly properly talk about this on the podcast because mm. we've got the next couple kind of planned of what's going to happen. So, would you say that your aspirational goal is a top ten, or are you is, is that as, is that as good as you think you're going to get, or are you kind of if your goal is not to win it, why are you going? That, I mean, that's what I, I was going to say. Can I be like kind of kind of be compl- a, go- a goal and then realistic? Can is I what be I want. completely honest with you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I just completing eighteen can, holes? Can I just <laughs> not embarrassing yourself? Not on TV. Can, can I just level with you, full full on? Not tigering out. My biggest goal is not to finish last. Okay, achievable. Honestly, like bear in mind, this is like the first. I know we did a good good event, but this is the first proper eighteen hole individual scorecard in hand comp that I've played in about two years. Mm, yeah. Okay, so this is uh, no. I, I played in one last year at Crew, but you know, for an actual proper event against some really good players, of course, I don't know about having only just changed my swing and having almost zero practice on my short game. If I go out there, break eighty, even though I won't be happy with that, because like you said, you should be turning up to every event trying to give all you can, and it is only a one day event, so you just got to go out and try and get as many birds as you can. I, I, I just want to put in a performance which I'm not going to look back on and cringe when the video comes out. Okay, yeah. so nothing yeah. like that nine-hole play with me that just came out. Uh, well, if you watch the back nine, you'll see things <laughs> change. So more like the back nine. <laughs> more like the back nine, yeah. yeah. Um, so, I, and that's the thing, I don't, I, I have absolutely no idea where my game is in the moment because, yes, that round was rubbish, but actually the in the evening when I played again, I actually played quite well. Like mm. I was on the par in the evening, so... Whatever Peter Finch decides to turn up then, basically. Yeah. I mean, and again, it's it's such a different game. It's such a mental game as well. Because like with all the swing, the changes I've been doing, like I got to the earth course 45 minutes before I teed off. (laughs) Unheard of. Right. I got now. Was that an accident? If, yeah. (laughs) If you don't know how I approach my rounds of golf, usually if I'm there 10 minutes before the tee time, like I'm, I don't know what to do with myself. If you have time to get a coffee, we've done well. My warm up is a sprint from the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I plan it, and it works. I was there so early. I had a full warm up all throughout the back. I did stretching. I got some breakfast. I got some coffees. I had a chat to people. I spoke to people. Like, that's how weird it was. I had to be sociable. <laughs> And then I got to the tee and I was like, I feel so (laughs) overprepared. This is going to go badly. And then it was like a snap hook, four put double. And I was like, well, that was pointless. 
I'm not. I won't do that again. So when you, are you saying that when you get to the qualifier, you're just going to rock I'm up to the tee? I'm going to stay and... in my room until the last possible <laughs> moment. <laughs> okay. Competition. Competition. Yeah. Competition between you and Fat Perez as to who can turn up the latest and the most hungover. I, I don't play well hungover. <laughs> I've only done it. Actually, no, that, maybe it last year? that was a castle the course. Castle right? course. Well. Well. I actually yeah. play well. Maybe it's a secret. <laughs> I, I think I play well because I physically couldn't move that fast. <laughs> so I was just, Everything just was smooth and 80%. You're doing a Monty when you're swimming. <laughs> yeah, so I was just bunting it down everywhere. Um, your 60-year-old swing. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I mean, because obviously it's really tricky because like comps are back on the agenda this year. Um, and I am, I'm a little bit nervous because the last comp that I played in properly was... It was horrible. I didn't enjoy it. It was like the worst experience I've had on the golf course, maybe. So to actually get back and get playing and to get that competitive edge going again, it's it's going to be tricky. And if all doesn't go well, sack it off. Start your own tour. Play on that instead. Well, I mean, I've got to be honest, as far as the segue goes, it's pretty blunt instrument, that. That was a bit of a bludgeon into that one. Yep. Um, yep. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't the, the most subtle I've ever been. However, would you like us? Would you like to tell us and also the viewers and or listeners of this podcast of the major? Not a major. <laughs> <laughs> it, we're, we're, it's not starting a major of the um, advancement in Peter Finch live golf that's happening in 2024. So. I'm going to I'm going to add a, a preface to this. Okay. Which I think is a great fancy word if I've said it or a preface. A preface, yeah. So, when we do quest for the open in the past, we have had an issue with the fact that I've not actually been able to play that many comps um before open qualifying. So, and it's the only way that I can improve. I need competitive golf to actually get in the mindset of being a competitive golfer because if not, I just I, it just doesn't work. So, what I thought this year would be a really good idea, I thought it'd be, I thought it'd be fine, is to start like our own little version of a professional golf tour. Um, so I could actually get competitive golfing, which sounds like the stupidest thing to do ever, but that's what we're going to do. Um, I've teamed up with the PGA in Lancashire. So it's kind of my local PGA chapter. <laughs> if you will, um, <laughs> region. And what we've done is I've organized with Simon, who's kind of like the, he's, he's the main kind of guy as far as comps are concerned. Top dog. Now. Yeah. I've organized with him that from the end of March until basically open qualifying, I'm going to be running a series of events which count towards an overall order of merit and a mini order of merit. Wow. Um, and we're going to be hosting these events. Uh, we are guaranteeing a top prize because that's the thing. That's a problem that local PJ events have is that if not enough people enter, the prize funds are negligible and then people don't really want to take a day out of work to come play for 100 quid. Yeah, yeah I don't want to pay, pay yeah, for yeah. 25 pound pro shop qued credit and, you know, a couple <laughs> of Snickers bars. Yeah, so <laughs> we've got to like make it worthwhile for people to come out. So... We're, we're kind of stumping up the cash as a top prize guarantee, which will, I think, probably be region-wise. Apart from Yorkshire, they get loads and loads of pros playing. Like, region-wise, it'll probably be the best-paying one-day kind of events wow. in a, in a well, local PJ then. region. Well, because it, it's all cyclical. So we've got a big first prize fund, which will entice more people to play, which gets more entry fees, which can then be paid further down, which is going to encourage more people to play. So uh, these events, we should be able to get a lot of people out there. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And obviously we're going to be filming every, all of this. We're going to be throwing ourselves into the mix. So <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we're not playing. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I'm ready to go. Sponsorship <laughs> exemptions. We are, de yeah. we are definitely not playing. Have I, have I not mentioned we're playing because of Scramble? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? Do you know what? I think we'd do it. We'd, we'd, they'd have a do problem. A oh, yeah. They'd have a problem if we turned up as a scrambled team. Do a right job. Does that mean that only pros from Lancashire can play? Or can it mean that? Yeah. So, so, means... yeah so it's a region. So if we did say we organized it with the North region, right? that would be like from the North. Yeah. Everyone from kind of this area. Right. Anywhere yeah, from, yeah, yeah, anywhere yeah, from Watford you. up. Yeah. So yeah. From <laughs> Birmingham. Not Birmingham, isn't it? Birmingham. It'd be, where would it be? Like Cheshire upwards, I suppose. So, it would be obviously a lot more kind of all encompassing. 
but this one was starting out with just Lancashire, so just the county, and then seeing where we go from there. If it works, then great, because what we're, you know, if you want to break it down as a, a very simple concept, we're hoping that the events that we film add revenue from YouTube, and if we get any potential sponsors, then great, but that will then pay for the actual kind of price funds and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so it'll it'll fi- it'll resolve itself with regards to money put up mm. based on the views from the videos. Hopefully, yeah. So we're using we are using YouTube to pay for professional events. Oh, is the great kind of best way of putting it. So if it works out, then initially I think it's the first five events basically. Initially, this will be a really good starting point to say, well, if that works and if people are interested in seeing, you know, this level of golf, because it it's a strange one because there's a lot of really good players in Lancashire, but you're never, ever going to get to see them normally because, you know, they're not out there on any kind of tours. Mm-hmm. So if people are interested in this level of golf, this type of competition, then we could do more and like we could make it a proper, proper new thing going forward. Um, so hold on. Let, let's think about this a one or two day event one day event one day good prize money Mm -hmm. people from this area Mm going to be viewable on youtube is this a rival to live (laughs) this is i i would say the in the hierarchy of golf tours right now i would probably put this firmly in between dp world tour and live just above live. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Roman numerals for 18? That's what we need to... <laughs> uh, who's, who's, I don't know what the... XVIII? Sure. That's a lot. Ten, that sounds like ten a lot. 105111? No wonder people stop using this system. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a bit, bit tricky. Um, so I don't know if people know that, by the way, that live is Roman numerals for 54. I don't know if people mm, know that. Now, now you do. Now you do. Now you do. Right, yeah. Yeah. I hope I've blown one person's mind. Yeah, you blow mine. Done. There we go. Wow, it's, I don't, it's it's going to be interesting because I I am I am honestly because obviously it depends how we kind of tie all these videos and package these videos. You know, it, it might not be event one. Mm. Yeah, it, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it might be something different, but to see what the viewership on that would be, and to see what kind of exposure it gets, I'm I'm interested to see because it could be the start of something which is really good. It might literally fall on its ass. It's not going to. It might completely collapse. It might it won't. implode like a neutron we won't let star. It. We won't let it. Actually, no, neutron star doesn't implode because that's totally dumb. Anyway. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> sorry. Um, all I'm saying is that I'm, I'm excited about this. I'm I'm really interested to see where it will go. Um, I'm very happy to be doing it like PJ Lancashire as well. Some of the courses that we're going to, people will never have seen them before yeah. because there's no, you know, People, someone living in Carolina is never going to have heard of Longridge. They're never going to have seen the mighty Hesham on a <laughs> YouTube video before. Did you choose the courses or have you been... Talking? No, no, it's, it's kind of like uh, Simon's kind of gone out and said, okay, this is what we're doing. Because what it's based on as well is these courses giving up tee times. Mm. Yeah. But if we can show in this first year that we can say, listen, you know, this video has got X amount of views, it's got this many people talking about the golf course. If it works, then Simon can go to courses next year. Say, you know, listen, Royal Lytham. Yeah, Hillside. <laughs> Good lord! Yeah, but, yeah, but that's yeah. in our area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I guess. Hills. Imagine doing that whole loop like Hillside, Birkdale. All that. I mean, Birkdale's a big one. <laughs> can you but, imagine? Yeah. Oh, oh, the year of the Open. Yeah. Because this is where it gets a little bit difficult. Because that would West be then Lanks. North Region rather uh, than Lancashire. It has to be like West Lancs. West Lancs. That's that right? That would be like Merseyside orders. Yeah, got to keep it in the. So that's that's the thing. Like you know, we don't want to drive to a border and they get stopped. Yeah. So can't 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 play here. Can't come here. Can't play here. Great Lever and Farmworth. We'll go there. Mm, Yeah. And then we could even venture to Yorkshire. Bloody hell. You know, you can't play over here, lad. (laughs) Don't talk. On the wrong side of mountain. (laughs) You Um, drink coffee, not tea. You're not welcome over here. You've got your own little logo as well, haven't you? We're sort of looking at at doing our own little logo. I don't know if it's confirmed yet, but if it is, you can stick it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Great. There it is. There it is. Um, is. We might be pointing at nothing, but there it is. (laughs) And... So and everyone like PJ Lancashire has been kind of informed of this and all the rest of it. So it's not like a big. That's of, good. Yeah. <laughs> they know so it's some happening. People, they know it's people happening. Know um, it's yeah, this go isn't on. us just turning up and just putting some signs. Are we, we going to get our own flag and stuff? No. Oh, oh no. we no, we are. Oh, we That's are. That's a good um, show. All you need is eighteen. Then just take them out. 
You wouldn't need a very actually, cool you, you only need one because whichever video, whichever hole we're filming, we just go put it on for we'll us. We'll just put the flag oh, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. No, we should get like baskets. I like, do it all, you, a Pinehurst US Open oh, style. That's such a good oh, idea. That one that, um, T markers that have got little you like this with the YouTube face. <laughs> <laughs> where, so, was, where did where did Justin Rose win the US Open? Uh, is it Marion? I think Marion. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're with right. the baskets. Yeah, with the baskets. Yeah. So it's. So I think everything like that. Now, now bear in mind, please, please bear in mind, everybody watching and everyone at this table. This is us organising this, okay? <laughs> so it might so go to put the the chances of it happening. Us organising <laughs> eighteen flags. That sounds like a massive commitment. That's a big me. job, isn't it? That, yeah. that, that, that sounds really easy. That feels, that sounds, that that feels like, that feels that feels like, like almost that the that easiest feels bit. Like your job. That's a you job. That should no. be good at that sort of stuff. No, I had it with his face on it, wasn't it? So, <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So <laughs> one, two. <laughs> how, how did you are? How are you doing? Plus ten. <laughs> so you just be able to cover the box. In right. fact, I'm just going to uh, stand quite near the hole. <laughs> it's you. You are the flag. <laughs> Let's get 18 mix out there. <laughs> and it's hit the pin. <laughs> oh, and the pin's fallen over. Oh, down it goes. Oh, good Lord. No, I think, I think flags is very easy. I think getting people there is the tough bit because, like, once they're there, then the video kind of makes itself. The tournament yeah. exists. And I, th I, think most, I think most pros kind of in and around Langshaw will, will, will be interested in seeing what it's about. Okay, um, so here's, here, here's the question. Great that there's going to be some prize money. Great that these people and the course is going to get a bit of exposure on the channel, which is wonderful. What can we offer to the Order of Merit winner for the series that can't be offered by someone who doesn't have a large YouTube channel? Oh, like a really firm handshake. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. um, to, to be honest, I don't know. Because like, we were talking about this about like maybe getting like little trophies for each yeah, event, like good. talking about like mini order of merit, like big check, naming these events and stuff. <laughs> big, big comedy big, checks. Big comedy check. I like, I like that. Like doing all this. And it, it, the thing is like nothing is off the table, but there's literally nothing which has been organized on the table apart from the events and the structure and stuff like You'll that. You'll wear a suit and do the presentation. Uh, Can we get a jacket? A suit. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't want to wear a suit. A rough they, cut jacket. Every time they win, they do like a champagne sort of like speech, don't they? Yeah. Give it to a speech. They get to host the dinner next time round. Yes. <laughs> they get Pass to choose champions. all the things. Champions, <laughs> yeah. champions dinner. dinner. That's so sick. Basically, I think what we're saying is these events just need to turn into what the majors are for PGA Lancashire. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. PGA Lancashire is the new PGA Tour. Don't worry saying. about oh. the PGA Champ at Conway. Don't worry about the Manchester Open. Forget them. Mm. Yeah. It's all about at Fleetwood Golf what, Club. That's what, what we want. What yeah. would be the Lancashire uh, like? Menu starter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be, what butter pie. What's a good oh. starter? What's a good starter? You never have a butter no. pie to start. No, that's main. That's main course. Big <laughs> old butter pie. Don't you even talk nonsense? Well, this is Yorkshire. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I need to go a bit more Lancashire. Yeah, there you go. Like um, you're basically, you just do. Your your, uh, I, just, I just need to do I, your dad. I need to drop me act and talk like I'm back in Preston. There right? you go. Yeah, right. Like, I don't know. I don't. No. What's, <laughs> what's, what's, a, what's, what's a good starter? typical starter in? Well, normally, and gravy. like when I was growing up, we didn't have enough money for a starter, so we just went on to Maine. You're not offering We're canapes, on to, no? On to Maine. <laughs> <laughs> straight on to Maine. Yeah, straight. Like, no. But to be fair, butter pie is is, is like good when, enough. When brawn cocktails came, we, we thought that was we thought that was witchcraft. <laughs> Packet so, of crisps for starter. No, got a four crisps. <laughs> Who's this Mary Rose? Who are you talking about? So I think what we'd go, we'd go soup. God, please stop mm. the accent. And then we'd go some. We we wouldn't even go butter pie. We would go Lancashire hot pot. Oh, Lancashire hot pot. Yeah. Uh, classic Lancashire hot pot. What so about, do you, what about we, dessert? What the words will sing as you eat. <laughs> <laughs> What's dessert? Does it? Oh well. Now nah, originally, I think yeah, caramel was. Oh no, that was in Northumbria. I take it back. Well, there's there's lots of there's lots of bread based. Bakewell was Bakewell in Lancashire. Don't talk. <laughs> <so much. laughs> Um, <laughs> no idea what's going on. If you didn't understand the last 15 minutes, maybe just like go and look up what yeah. that accent is and then maybe come I'm, back and translate it. We'll have subtitles. Put <laughs> some subtitles <laughs> in for people who have no like, idea what's going on. The, the thing is, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm putting this accent on, so I feel like it is almost a bit your I just need to I just need to talk like if I'm back in Preston. 
Right, that's a bit more like it. Right, okay. You just draw it. Just yeah. I just it's I just a bit need, more subtle. Yeah, I just need to like You're forcing it too. I much. just need to imagine I'm talking with me dad. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's it. That's right. And you miss, out, to... you miss out a few words, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what, to... what I actually said then? Yes, you're absolutely correct. I do miss out a few words. We're going to play old course, dad. Come. Yeah, exactly. Old course. Yeah. Old course. All right. Right. Okay. So see, this problem. Pudding. I need. If you want me to do this again, just give me two weeks back at home, and then I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get back. Another holiday. <laughs> to Preston, <laughs> yeah, one of those one of those famous spa breaks to Preston. Is, no, I about. saw something this the other day. I saw that um, Blackpool and Preston, or was it, it was something like that. It's like the best place for a getaway for a couple. Yeah, it was voted one of the best. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> no joke. No couple joke. Of what? Couple of videos. No joke. Honestly, no. It's, it, I, I saw it on like a Lab Bible or something like that. That, that um, Blackpool and Preston had been voted a, a good place for a getaway in the UK. <laughs> honestly, like, uh, it was like cheap. A, a criminal getaway. <laughs> <laughs> Get away from law. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thank God we crossed the border. They can't. They can't follow us. <laughs> oh, we'll go to Filed Coast. <laughs> no, I don't. I, I did not. I'm, I'm Force sure. can't come. There. I'll get it up. I'll get it up. I, 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 that's wild. I that, promise you. That's what, I'm not making it up. I promise it, you. Was that a sponsored post? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, this this was paid for by the Filed Coast I just, Tourism yeah, Board. Blackpool Illuminations. Um, <laughs> I, I am proud of my hometown of Preston. If if people want to go there, then cool. Yeah. Like, why not? Come Listen, visit. there's there's worse places I've been to. Um, speaking like of like Blackpool. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we're hosting. We're going to an event there. You get you get Listen, harassed. Pe- people from Blackpool will understand that I'm from Preston and a Preston North. They'll know. Right. Yeah. Okay. That, that it's it it goes without. It's just a natural thing. Okay, so the the series has a name. Would you like to announce the name? Does it? Yeah. Does it? Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh. I think we're going to call it the Quest Mini Series, uh, which is what's on the logo, I believe. Um, and then we're going to yeah go from that. I think Quest is like basically anything that we do now is going to have Quest in it. Yeah, somehow. Swing Quest, yeah. Quest for the Open. Yeah. Question time on the podcast. Very good. 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 Um, Now, the dates are confirmed and the Um, courses are confirmed? The dates and the courses are confirmed, yes. Excellent. They will be Um, on the screen right now. um, If you are a PGA pro in the Lancashire area, here is your, the courses that you're going to come and play. Yeah, yeah. It's it's quite nicely kind of spread out until open qualifying as well, which is good. Cool. Um, And then intermingle with that some other North Region events. So I think this is going to be the most comps I'll ever play before open qualifying. Wow. Which is really good. Which is a good, good thing. We'll do you, see. Do you get to start like 10 under par or something for being uh, <laughs> Unfortunately not. <laughs> I, uh, I had a number of suggestions. Um, unfortunately, that is not one of them. Yeah, that's good. Um, what, um, what were your suggestions? Um, first of all, I could start 10 under par. Okay. Uh, once that was not back, I said, well, 8 under par. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep going down. Yeah. yeah. Uh, kept going. And unfortunately, apparently, you're not allowed to do that. So um, flip, do- it, flip it and be like, they have to start like 5 over. Mm-hmm. You know, flip it. I'll yeah, start they're, they're, par. They're, they're doing a 14 club challenge. Exactly. Um, are we allowed to pick the pin, pin positions? Uh, no. <laughs> no I, I, think pe- I think people will be slightly suspicious. Are we allowed to roll the greens ourselves? <laughs> uh, no, no. Um, are we allowed to get like guest appearances? You know, like I know I see that like, Liver's getting back Anthony Kim and stuff like that. You know, can we get back a few people like this? Yeah, we'd just like to announce now that Anthony Kim is also going to play on the Quest mini series. Oh yeah. Um, so you may have seen the reports about him getting a wild card pick for yeah. Liv. I've spoken to uh, Mr. Kim, as I call him, and. Tony, we are offering him a unequivocal <laughs> sponsored inv- invite to all five events as yeah. well. Wow. He's, so you heard it here first. Yeah. Why so he's not announced yet? Because he's waiting. Yeah, up he's, to. Yeah, he's waiting. So, you know, guaranteed first prize. <laughs> and, uh, and he starts 10 under par. Yeah. No expenses paid. And he might need to start 10 under par. Uh, you, yeah. want, you might want to practice round at like stand. Uh, just to just to see what the yeah just to see you what wouldn't have played anywhere like this before son no yeah. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> uh, and I've also sent out handwritten letters um, just asking uh, players like Ram to see if he's got any he's got of, a little bit more time he might have gaps in his contract yeah. you know I've not seen it um, mm. so we'll see you allowed if to play on a rival tour wasn't that the point um, I I've, I've got a feeling hmm, I've got a uh, premonition that uh, the organizers of live mr normal would probably not see this as a rival tour yet he would know it's superior mm. oh god mm. i fell into that one. <laughs> oh, god such an idiot so, should have seen that coming they don't have a champion's dinner do they they're no, not having hot pot not yet no they are not having oh my we should have on the first tee 
like oh. a massive bowl of hot pot. I love teas, that. I love teas, that. scorecard, hot pot. Oh. No, no, no. The teas are butter pies. <laughs> <laughs> Tea markers are butter pies. <laughs> there we go. And the advantage is, yes. if you play in the last group, like you can take them away and eat them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, uh, I, I think that'd work. Um, I this think is getting pretty, better. By the second. This is literally getting really I, good. I really so, like that. Oh, and, I, and I think, I think on this, and I, I just want to, I just want to throw this out. I'm just thinking this off the top of my head. I will. We will um, be inviting sponsors for individual events. Okay, okay. that's good. And. What I want to try and do, if possible, if like local Lancashire companies want to get involved, this this isn't going to be like a, you know, you're going to have to pay X amount to be it. But if you are like a baker's <laughs> in Lancashire and oh, you want to get involved. That's so good. Like, cool. Like, but you've got to donate a hundred butter pies. I love like, that. Oh. So, so, I'm, I'm, I'm God, more this is than, be so I am more than up for like trying to figure stuff out that because if we're going to keep it in Lancashire, we're going to keep it local. Let's try and do other stuff. Let's let's try and keep it kind of local. And like, and obviously, like within the videos, we we'll try and do shout outs and stuff. It it won't be anything massive, you know. So don't expect anything crazy. Yeah, there's going to be no, get involved. There's no advertisers hoardings behind no. the first. Yeah. Like, oh, actually, could, there will be now. Like sponsor, now that I'm thinking, they could like sponsor holes, so like the third hole sponsored by like Wendy's butter pies. Something oh, like God, that. that would be good, wouldn't it? I think you know obsession with butter pies. I don't know, I love butter pies. Do you know what I'm smelling? I'm smelling OBE for all of this. <laughs> <laughs> Commitments to golf totally in yeah, Lancashire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Service, services to golf in Lancashire. Yeah. <laughs> I can I can imagine yeah, yes yes my yes king yes I'm smelling it yes oh my god that would be so ridiculous uh, good lord anyway uh, I, w- I, w- I don't want to I'd turn it down anyway I don't, you? I don't no, want no 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 I think I think like. I think Stephen Merchant said this on the Ricky Gervais podcast once. He said, I, I, w- I thought that as well. He said, I would turn it down. Like, I'm cool. I'm not part of the system. But like, in reality, you would take it because it goes next to your name forever. You get a passport that says OBE on it. That's so cool. What does it, when, oh, it, when you get an OBE? I have OBE, to pay to update my passport. You're the, you're the what, order what, of the British Empire. And what does, exactly. what does that get you? And nothing. It, it just gets you a pat on the back and you can call yourself an OBE. Right. No, you get invited on. Um, you get invited to all of the like uh, Wimbledon Centre Court. You get invited what? to for- the British Formula One. No, you don't. What? You get free tickets to everything. Just flash your thing. Look, OBE. OBE. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the last yeah. vestiges of the British Empire. Nah, I don't, I don't want to be involved. You turn it down. Thing is, though, I will turn it down because I'm going for something better, not for the knighthood. Is, um, yeah, there you go. Like, there you go. I'd, 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 who wants? Who wants to do MBE? Is, and everyone's is, got an MBE. Is MBE better everyone's than OBE? Sir, no. Member of the British Empire. It, so which is better, OBE or MBE? I think it we'll, goes, we'll research it and find out. We'll I think CBE is the best one, which I think is Commander British Empire. Oh, you want to be Commander Finch? No, I want to be a sir. I want to be a knight. Sir Peter think, Finch. Yeah. I think my grandpa's got something. What? Yeah, I'm not sure what it is though, but he's definitely been to the palace and received something. What? Aren't you already an earl? Uh, a, a, a lord, la, a, a lord, lord. Right, a lord. Uh, Jacob yeah, I did make Peter lord. Yes. <laughs> Jacob bought Peter some land. Uh, yeah, that square meter in Windermere in, in, makes me a lord. In Scotland, isn't it? Or something like that. Uh, uh, it's near the. It's in the lakes. Oh, is it? Is it lakes? Is it? I don't even remember. Yeah. Have you been? Have you visited? I have several times. Good. <laughs> How are the people? Are they? Uh, he's gonna, he's I, no I, longer a Lancashire man. He owns land in another county. Oh, oh no. damn! What a letdown. I, I We're calling hear, it the Kendall series I now. I hereby resign my ownership of land in Cumbria. My titles and deeds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I forfeit to the crown my titles and deeds and land in Cumbria. I apologise. Okay, I'm back at Lancashire. Um, well, if he pops over, we can go to Kendall and get some Kendall mint cake for pudding, and then we're done for the, for the menu. No, they're going to sponsor an event. They can't. Uh, they, well, they can. They can't. They can't. Cumbria. They can't. They, they can do. Yeah, if, yeah. If, if there's no one in Lancashire wants, if we kind of expand it out, I mean, we'll not... just keep going incrementally until we get to people who care. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep going incrementally until the last event is like sponsored <laughs> by Mastercard. <laughs> 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 Other banking providers are available. <laughs> sponsored by the Pith. <laughs> <laughs> Just, we get absorbed. <laughs> we get bought out by Liv. Yeah. We see there's too much of a competition. <laughs> oh, we merge. We merge. Yeah, yeah we're doing so a merger deal so with Liv. B- BJ Tour have just got that Fenway Sports Group involved. Oh, yeah. Like, we, we got to, we, we get Liv coming in. Like, we, like, we can't invest <laughs> in the PJ anymore. How would you like four billion into the PJ Lancashire? 
I'll see what I can do. <laughs> we'll, we'll make it work. We'll get back to you. I'll, I'll, I'll see. What I'll, I'll have a word with the guys, and I'll see what they say. Oh my god, maybe maybe that's Liv's way of doing it. Instead of like going for the big PGA tour, they just go for all the local PGA chapters and like buy them up all one by one, and then eventually like, wow, well, we don't have to own you because we own all your kids. If you want to build for the future, you've got to have solid foundations. Oh. That's what I say in the boardroom when I'm sat across from Greg. He's like, who's got suitcases of four billion quid behind him? And I'm like saying, well, to be honest, I have already agreed the sponsorship uh, for Dean's Bakery on the fourth event. So <laughs> it's only the fifth that's available. Yeah, you can have it. It's four, what, what it's four we, billion. What, what are we Shout thinking to, to offer to Dean's? Are we saying to them that they're just going to have like a little sign saying this hole, or can Dean like pop up on the fourth and well, hand out? I can't sponsor I can't that in the video. Remember, yeah. oh, I can't remember yeah. the. Um, the name of it was like a radio show it's an american radio show and they the advertisers basically gave the radio show money for adverts the only stipulation was that the presenter it was a comedian i can't remember his name this was a few years ago basically could do whatever he wanted to advertise it so he was given the money but then he would just like do massive take the mix skits oh, okay, and all right, sorts yeah. of like base. so i'm thinking if we get like a little sponsor I can just like film go, my little skirt. I, I can yeah. like be in a big like Chesterfield armchair. Like, have you tried Dean's butter <laughs> yeah. pies? <laughs> but this is what we were saying about the Good Good event. Like, they did yeah. that kind of thing, but serious. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. right, yeah. If yeah, it yeah. was us doing it, we would yeah. take the Mickey so much. Come on down to Charnock Richard Cycle. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Other cycle providers are available <laughs> for now. So what? Yeah. What? Like I said, if any of that comes off, then great. It won't be anything serious, so we'll see how it all goes. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what it'll be. And like I said, more people will watch it than uh, live at the moment. And well, until Anthony Kim, yeah, yeah, yeah. Until until Anthony isn't, he play, isn't he playing quite well? So th this is uh, rumored. So the th thing is, like playing, he's played playing. One, one, like one. he he's going to be playing in the live event in Jeddah this week, and it kind of goes to show just like how unbelievably messed up professional golf is at the moment. When the biggest talking point is a golfer from. 15 years ago mm. like who has like a myth semi-mythical status within <laughs> the game is coming back and playing on a rival tour and everyone's kind of excited about it I, 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 this might be the only thing that actually recently would get me watching an event yeah i was gonna say okay kim is cool like anthony kim is 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 cool to come back to golf like he was so good back in the day was cool yeah. Was cool, but yeah. like he might be. Like he shot fifty nine apparently in his practice round. Yeah, I shot fifty nine once as well. Did you? Yeah, front I played nine. on my own. <laughs> on front nine, filled in my own score yeah, card, and the, and the back nine started. Yeah, yeah. And the back nine. started forty five on the par. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I, I saw that. I saw that he shot fifty nine. I've seen like things like oh, when he's playing money matches, he's always taking cash off people yeah. and stuff. Like that. It's just like. What, is, what do you what do you buy into? Like I, he's obviously good. I heard he actually arrived in Jeddah by parting the Red Sea <laughs> and walking on land. God's sake! And the yeah. dolphins behind him played trumpets. But you, you are, you are right in saying he has a sort of myth, mythical essence yeah. to him now because like you don't see anything of it. Like a, 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 an Anthony Kim sighting is it feels like a bit of a. It, yeti or bigfoot kind of. I, th I think because he left so suddenly and also everyone knows this like in this is a common occurrence throughout sports like the longer a player sits on the bench the better they become oh yeah so like anthony kim was such a good player then he stopped it's almost yeah. like when he comes back you're just expecting these incredible things to start happening when yeah. in fact it, it really might not happen yeah. at all so like micah richards wasn't actually that great at football but <gasps> whoa he wasn't Whoa, listen. His lineup is good, though. On, he's got a good trim. He's got a great trim. On Football Manager, he yeah. was Football Manager 2000. He was unreal. Um, yeah. If you if you are at all Football Manager inclined, you probably want to go and find Jacob and DM him on Instagram or something because Jacob is obsessed with Football Manager. <laughs> if you want a wonder kid, I'll let you know. <laughs> Jacob knows the... Jacob knows the ins and outs of who to buy and when to buy them. I, was thinking the other day, I don't think they'd be able to do that with golf. It's not really kind of a... You know, unless they did it for Liv, get a Liv game, and then you could be the manager of a team. They're doing it for the Quest mini series. <laughs> it's not quite the same. I'm going to pile in on Ryan O'Neill this week. <laughs> well, they've got F1 manager. They've got football manager. They've got cricket manager. Golf manager. Don't know if you can... Got, You'd be just be nah. looking after one bloke. It'd have to be yeah. teams, wouldn't it? Unless it was you, but... Here um, we go. Hold on, Cogs. I'm sorry. 
they've got cricket manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought he was going to say something <laughs> really constructive. <laughs> I've, just actually, you I've off. actually never played it. I've, I've I can't back it because I've never played yeah. it, so I don't know how good it is. But apparently, the F one's very good. Mm. But that one, manage obviously, manage that team. makes sense because that role is like so yeah, yeah, yeah. crucial in Formula One. Yeah, cricket manager is like, as you'd imagine, you. It's kind of like you're the coach slash CEO. I don't know, but you own like the team, whoever you want, Sussex, how Middlesex, random. and then you, <laughs> you. As you do with, I mean, with football manager, at least you kind of see the game play out with the engine. Yeah. Like with cricket manager, I'm fairly sure that like the most common way to play it is you just have the scoreboard and you press play and you just see the balls and the runs tick over oh. and then someone might get out and it drops down to the next person and then yeah, so random. Yeah, so I played championship. What people do now, eh? I played yeah. championship manager. Yep. back in the day. Yep. and I remember having a floppy disk of it. That's how old I <laughs> Anyone am. Anyone <laughs> under the age of 18, yeah. 20, like maybe? Fl floppy disks definitely had their moment in time. Oh, they were, were, unbelievable. You, were you floppy disks? I've never heard of them. Okay. <laughs> there Anyone we go. under there the age go. of 24 does not know. Um, so I remember having a floppy disk of it. And for the second, yeah, I think there were actually only, uh, maybe only 10 seasons. And for the second half of the game, you had to put the other disk in. <laughs> <laughs> what is a floppy disk? What is a floppy disk? Uh, so it's like a little square disk that holds probably about 500 megabytes picture, of data. Picture an SD card, but, mm -hmm. but massive. But the like, size, but the like, size of a piece like of toast. Like you said, put in a Game Boy. No, no, oh. no. That's a cartridge of like it. No, oh. they're like that big. Yeah, huge. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh. And you stick it in. Yeah, just think SD card, but on a much bigger scale. And it's got, got, and it's got a little this. silver bit Can at the show top. Me? Can you show me. I've never it's got a little seen. silver bit at the top, which is very satisfying to pull back and see it pop back across. I'm, mm. I'm sure I probably have seen it. You, I think you would recognise like, it. Two years. Right. So that's one. While while they're doing that, in the comments below, I want to know the. Um, the thing from oh, your era that people I... after you won't remember. He doesn't look like he knows it. I think I the the I thing from your era that people after you won't remember, stick it in the comments. Man. I mean, Kieran, like, Kieran grew up in the country. Like, if we showed him like a 1960s Lamborghini tractor, he'd been, oh, you know, you reckon, <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, you reckon he's that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, D200, bloody lovely then. Oh my God. Did you have a lot of accents internet? on this episode? Yeah. Yeah. Did yes. we have internet? Did you have dial up internet? There was one place that had internet in his village. <laughs> the library. You could go there and go on go on to web. We were outside of the Okay, so. floppy disk. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. championship <laughs> manager. <laughs> championship anyway. manager. And it and didn't it didn't manager. it was so old, it didn't have like it literally the thing would if you were, I would play as Arsenal, so you're playing it against was, Tottenham. It was red if Arsenal yeah. had the, if we're playing well, and it would go white if Tottenham didn't were it, playing well. And then at the end like, it just showed you the score. Didn't it have like did it not do like commentary things though? Like it, Arsenal shoot. Goal. Oh, kind then, of. Yeah. 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 Back Lawful. in the day. Terrible. Glorious. Um, and I would have uh, Anthony Kim on my uh, lift team if we did, if <laughs> if we we did, did golf, manager. Live golf manager. Oh, God. <laughs> He's been raking it in. They must have given him so much cash to well, come I, back. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that Anthony Kim is on a sponsor's invite. It's not, it's like he's on a, is he like not a on a wild team card or something? Or, I don't really know. Yeah. How, yeah who that. gets kicked off to. Yeah. 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 Is he on his own? Like yeah, he, he, he's his own team. <coughs> Peter Uline turns up and like just his key fob's not working. <laughs> 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 What's hey guys, he's looking, this is him looking through the window. <laughs> and, and everyone's like looking is away, that, like trying to that, avoid his eye. Is that Anthony Kim getting a little backpacks <laughs> in there? Is he wearing my? Is he wearing my team uniform? <laughs> <laughs> it's like doesn't really fit him. Is that it'll do? He's a cleek. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing on Torque. Yeah, R Richard Bland's like, you can't get out of his room. <laughs> yeah, he just locked him in. Locked him in. Like Bland is like trying to escape, <laughs> trying to jump over the balcony. Lord. Oh, he's tying all his bench You wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Uh, just to make it up as they go along. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of, I am, I am genuinely interested to see what it's like when he does come back and like what his, what his games on because he's been away for so, so long now. Yeah. So. It, is it too much to state that maybe this return is li a little bit more exciting or anticipate than Tiger's return, or is that a bit too far? T Tiger's most recent return. No, is in like when he first came back. Oh, mm, depends how it goes. Yeah, I, I think Anthony Kim is a bit of a, he's an enigma. He's like a one-off. Like that's, it's, but it's, that's yeah. my kind of, the thought of that this is a guy that we didn't really get enough of the first time round. Mm. As you, as you stated, if someone sits on the bench a little bit too, too long and then in your mind, this picture of this guy is yeah. created, that maybe he was a bit better or a bit worse than he was. Yeah, I, I think Tiger's Tiger. Like, yeah, Tiger's see, still 
the the needle mover. He always will be until he just decides to stop playing. But I think Anthony Kim is an interesting one because he is he's so well remembered for the type of golfer he was, yeah. and then the way he left, and the fact that no one really knows what he's done in the past. Like it's a different type years. of return, isn't it? Yeah, hundred like percent. Yeah, yeah. But if you got into golf like in the last five years, you probably wouldn't, wouldn't know, know who he is. So yeah, no, like, no so, yeah. But you know, no who but you know, yeah. who yeah, to explain is, to me so. who he was. Yeah, so. yeah, I went back and watched a little bit. Mm, He's, very good. He yeah. was mega. He golfed. He was mega. Yeah. So f for many golfers, I think it's exciting, and yeah, I'd like to. I like to see how he goes on. Again, Liv just making a. If it is going to be a signing, they're making a move to get somebody interesting. Yeah, it's a story, it, isn't it? It is getting more interesting to watch that than it was to watch the magical Kenya Open, for example. How dare <laughs> you? No, I watched a tiny bit of it. It was okay. We watched some here, did we not? We did. We did. Um, can't remember. I, I, I must be honest, I really did not like the course. No, it, it, it always, I always, in my head, and I think maybe because they stick the word magical before it, I'm literally assuming <laughs> there's going to be like giraffes and elephants yeah, like wandering through. The, and The thing is, we, we were talking about this about like in South Africa when they go to Leopard Creek. Mm. Like on, that actually does is, happen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On one of the greens, it's almost like they've, they've faked it and put a green screen in. You stand on the edge of a green and there is a creek down there where there's literally elephants and giraffes and all the animals that nature has thrown out in Africa are basically in this creek. As you're looking... <laughs> the scene out of the Lion King is, yeah. is happening right <laughs> next to little cup being held up. <laughs> and it's like, this is this is absolutely incredible. And then the Magical Kenya Open was played on a course which was completely enclosed by trees. It could have been in Bedfordshire somewhere. Yeah, yeah. you said it looked like Didsbury, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it could have been Didsbury. It could, oh, have been shout out yeah. like it could have been part of the Quest mini series of the PJ and Lancashire event. It could have. In maybe, fact, maybe it can be next year. Why don't we put them there? At the Quest mini series, we're not going to have um, giraffes and elephants. We're going to have a local crackhead in the, in, in the lake in the background. <laughs> uh, can't, can't afford crack up here, mate. <laughs> Someone with really high cholesterol for me, too many poor pies. <laughs> That's the biggest addiction we have up here. Um, so, yeah, I, I would have kind of thought the, the magical Kenya Open... Uh, <laughs> Wow, is that what you think of the North, by the way? <laughs> like, listen, don't don't get into the comments with Mick Hate after that comment. That was awful. Yeah. Why would you say that about the poor people? Of it's a bit wife? different, isn't it? A bit different. Hey, Preston's the best yeah. place for a getaway in the UK. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Apparently you can get crack wherever you yeah, want. They've got loads of rehabs. <laughs> they also included Blackpool in that. That makes no sense. Um, I, anyway. I'm going to show you that. Show so you. I kind of thought that it would have been, like you said, it would have been out where you could see like the the wildness and the beauty mm. of like the actual Kenya, yeah. Kenya and countryside and all the rest of it. And I must be honest, I can't quite picture if the event's been anywhere else before, because it's always had that name, hasn't it? It's like, Oh, magical mm. Kenya. Though, yeah. Time. So I, I don't really know, but I know that with other events, when they go to certain strange locations, well, unique locations, as far as golf events are concerned, they show off, like the country in a different mm -hmm. way yeah like not being enclosed in trees but i, I don't know how many golf courses are in kenya I, I think last year didn't didn't they have much better players playing in it last year i think fleetwood played in it last year mm, no were, i don't it, think so he played in a south africa event I know right that. okay he played in the Ned so Bank. maybe that's he the one Bank, yeah, yeah. Yeah. no he, but you're right there didn't... was there should have been some sort of maybe it just wasn't they, that nice they did it but they did it in a way that was <sighs> They kept like cutting away. Cut to a VT. Cut to a VT of like the Maasai tribe. And then they were like showing what that's like. And then it was not, you kind of wanted to see it, as we've said, like in the Gulf, like get, within what was happening. Get yeah. their Maasai's on the green. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was, it was kind of like the same with like the, the event in Mexico as well. It was uh, until the, honestly, I don't know. Oh, this event in Mexico, like. For some reason, on the first two days, did you watch any of it? Tiny bits. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Like the first two days, every single camera was pointed towards like a random ski lift and like a theme park mm. in the background. I was like, "What is this? What? What? Yeah. What? Where, where are, where we? are <laughs> they? Hey, we can recreate that at Blackpool. <laughs> oh, <could they>? yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, but it's the big one in the background. I was like, "What? What on earth is happening here?" And then, for some reason, some wise benevolent cameraman decided you know what this isn't actually the best view <laughs> so, the way so, around and then like just started to reposition the cameras in the background got these incredible mountains and it looks incredible i just i, I don't i don't it, i just don't understand people <laughs> sometimes just, just one cameraman who's whose earpiece to the truck is not working and he's like oh yeah look at that you know like <laughs> when we go out and i see a bird or something and i'm like <laughs> pointing my camera at it and you're like we're we're literally playing golf right here 
the guy, that guy's earpiece suddenly kicks in and it's the, the director going, Tim, <laughs> back to the ski lift. What on earth are you doing? <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry, I just back, saw, back just to saw the these event. mountains. <laughs> the, we, we, we say that obviously with the magical Kenya Open, like it's, we been slightly negative towards it but like i think one of the good things about it is the fact that you do get those african players that come in and play there's yeah. obviously some really good stories that yeah, come out cool. of it you had the ugandan who made the cut with making that putt on the last amazing you know all those kind of things you, they the first couple of days they showed off the was it, i think it's the kabuya brothers or kabuya brothers yeah, that yeah. were playing it's those kind of things obviously is what the dp world tour in essence I, can be good for mm, you know i've I, I, I feel I've been quite vocal on this point about like, for me, the DP World Tour, formerly European Tour that I grew up watching is still probably my favorite tour to watch because of things like this. Like the, like the magical Kenya Open. Like that is, like what? Like how did that happen? Like how mm. did that come apart? Mm. Like obviously Kenya wanted to do some advertising, we'll fund it, great. And then like the week after, like we're in South Africa, and then the week after that, ah, you know what I think? You know what I think we should actually do? Let's go to South Korea for an event. Mm, yes. Is that in your world? It doesn't no, matter anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it's and not it's called the, the DP World Tour yeah. now. And then you get all these like random locations and like all these different storylines of like different players. And it's why I, I genuinely really, really want the DP World Tour to succeed because it is it's interesting. Yeah. It gives different things. Like every, when you watch the PJ Tour, it's actually a lot better now, but you can get a sense that some of the some of the courses week to week yeah. like you can't tell the difference yeah, no, yeah. a lot of it looks the same yeah i think it is actually and to kind of loop back on that point i do actually think that is getting better mm -hmm. like i think the pga tour are going to some different interesting places but still there is a bit of a you know you get those runs in the season where it just yeah. looks like they're yeah. showing the same footage again exactly yeah yeah so you know that's why i really really enjoy the the dp world tour and i do hope it kind of manages to navigate the tricky terrain with which it has been dealt. And if yes. they want advice on how to run a really good event, they should come to us. Cause yeah, because we've we've done it for negative amount of days. We're, but, de you know. we're debating whether to get flags. <laughs> 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 well, what's it going to be? So it's like literally a month away, the first event. Cool. Wow. Jesus. Go and practice. And we've got no flags. <laughs> but we've got a course. All butter pie team <laughs> Yeah. But you know what we have? We've got a golf course and we have endless enthusiasm. I'm and frankly, saying, can do attitude. That's can do attitude. That's what you need. Yeah. Now, do you think that the guest supplier for this week is going to be the Ugandan golfer who <laughs> made a par to make the cut? Well, I hope not because I don't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> and I've also said this on multiple times now. I keep putting too much emphasis on current affairs in golf in this game. Mm. So I can't let that happen. Okay. Except I know now I've said that it's going to happen. It's going to be Jake Knapp. <laughs> yeah. Hello and welcome to the 2024 Rough Cut Open, the game where your knowledge of golf history is more important than your ability to actually hit the ball, how the game works. At the end of each episode, I describe the life and career of a famous golfer, and after each clue, these accomplished professionals write down who they think it is. However many hints it takes them to get home is how many shots they took on that hole. So, if you get a par five after just four clues, you would finish that hole in one under par. Here are the current standings. Let's rejoin the action as the players tee off. Okay, so guess the player. Uh, we are back. We are six holes in, I believe. Oh, no, we're not. We're four holes in. The Discord won the first two. Peter won two after that. So it's two, two, zeros, zeros for these two Jazokas over here. Which means that hole five is a par three. Oh, first one of the round. Damn, your first, your first par three of the round. Oh, I've been anticipating this. Yeah, um, what club? It, I, let me hold in. Let me work out the yard. <laughs> Tell me the hole first. It's a long, two hundred and seventeen yards. Oh, that's stinky. I mean, at the moment for me, that is a five iron. Any wow. elevation or? I am not even taking the. I honestly. Like this is one of the things that's confusing about Mill, by the way. I, my yardages are mental at the moment. Yeah. Uh, after work on Friday, I went and just sat and watched Pete hit some balls. And I, I, had, to, I had to ask him about four times what club he was hitting. Mm -hmm. Like 190 yards for like an eight iron or something. I was like, what is but going that's, on? That's the pings though, that. That's pings. It, it's a combination of those irons and that ball. I was I'm say using. Anyway. The, the dispersion across the board 
is great. Yeah. There's no big jumps or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's just that the starting point of how far that nine iron goes starts at about 165 yards and then it just goes from there. I'm going to confuse the hell of a lot of people. And I can't wait for it. Yeah. Wait, is he... Is he hitting a wedge? This is a 900-yard par seven. <laughs> Here we go. Who, um, who's the Discord player, by the way? Um, the Discord player for this one. Oh, yeah, because we did them. We're doing them very slightly out of order, aren't we? I will, I will get to the information. I believe his name is Gareth. We're going to go into my... Hello, Gareth. It was Gareth. Um, golfing, golfing Gareth on Instagram. Cool. He is uh, from Birmingham. And he, I'm not going to say what he did, but he did very well. Great. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm getting a bit of a, well, a bit of a crackle on the, crackle on the old headphones here. I'm also, also heard nothing just, of you've what just you gone, You've just gone you've just gone. Just, yeah. gone. just put, put it down. Put yeah, it just down. put it, put yeah. it down. There I'm trying go. not to, I'm trying, is we'll that cut better? This. We'll cut yeah, this. We'll cut this. I'm trying not to let Pete see the, see the answers. It, it doesn't, right. I'm going to get it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Okay. You know I'm on a roll. I've had two eagles in a row. Call you butter because you're on a roll. Here we go. Shot number one. Everyone prepared? No. Um, and you should be playing along at home and or in the comments or in the car or at your wedding reception or wherever you, you are. You should be. <laughs> if <Yeah>. you'd like. <laughs> you should play. You should be playing along. Come on, you should be playing along. Shot number one. This player is a former Junior Orange Bowl Championship winner. This player is a former... Junior Orange Bowl Championship winner. Silence in the studio. Good luck on that. Orange Bowl. Orange now, Bowl. what the hell is Orange Bowl? I have a idea of what that would be. Okay. If it correlates to what I know bowls to be, then I think I might know where this person is from. You eat your cereal out of it. You do. Only in the evening, though. We all know cereal's better in the evening. After a night out. That's very specific. <laughs> yeah. Two thirds. I, I'll give you away this. I'll give away the secret. Camera Scott came up with this. Two thirds. Waitrose own Cocoa Pops. One third. Crunchy nut. <laughs> very cold. Semi skimmed milk. You're welcome. Jeez. Waitrose own. Yeah. Uh -huh. Middle class here. Well, they're, 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 they're a bit crispier than the regulars. That's why they stayed. They want crispy milk. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. God damn it! Uh, right, okay. I've got a name. That's, That's all I'm after is a name. That is literally yeah, that it's, is the job. your job's very easy. Yeah. Mm, yours is easier. Mine's. How is mine easier? Because you don't embarrass yourself every week. <laughs> I've I've hit my approach in the middle of the green. I'm pretty sure it's not going. Okay. Well, that's. That's what I wanted. 217 yards, though. Yeah, if you hit from there, it's a big eight iron. It shouldn't be a walk in the park, should it? No. It should be hard. Okay. Shot number two. In 2019, he became the youngest international PGA Tour winner since 1923. In 2019, he became the youngest, youngest international PGA Tour winner since 1923. Stumped. Oh, no run. Um, I've, I've, I've held it. You've held it? Yeah, I've held it. Hang on. Oh. Say, say th just say that again, sorry. So he became the youngest... W when when was this, sorry? I have technically read the clue out twice. I, I know, I wasn't listening. That... <laughs> mm, interesting. We called you to the T. It's not your fault you didn't listen. So I, I, I was distracted. There was... There was Somebody flashing in the crowd. <laughs> Jacob, again. Yeah, I did it. I've definitely not. Place, place. You want me to read it out again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? We should read. Oh, fine. In 2019, he became the youngest international player. One more time. You've screwed me over. I shouldn't read it out three times. God. In 2019, he became the youngest international PGA Tour winner since 1923. And you're doubting yourself now. No, I'm not. No, you're not. Okay. I you're think, comfy. I think I'm okay. You're comfy. I just can't remember if he's American. Mm. I'm like, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm not like. Yeah, I'm. You're not celebrating it's a good, yet. It's a good effort. 
<laughs> solid. It's it, a solid. It, like this could be a lip out for the part. Oh, uh, I don't want to hear that. Mm. I don't want a lip out. I I don't know. Good. Yeah, that's I've, what I've, I wanted. So I've missed, I know I've missed my approach in the middle of the green. Hopefully, I've rolled it up close. Not a clue. Straight into the mic. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Um, I've got my headphones on. Shot number three. This is your par putt. You should be tapping this in. Shot number three. This player's best finishes in major championships have been T16 at the Masters, T23 at both the PGA and the US Open, and T53 at the Open. Okay, I've not got it. This player's best finishes in major championships have been T16 at the Masters, T23 at both the PGA and the US Open, and T53 at the Open. I mean, that's, apart from them not winning a major, that's give us nothing. So, oh, yeah, I remember his T53 at the Open really well. God. I was, I was going to put the years in there, but I thought that was just walking apart. It was too easy. So I took him out. Can't be that person. So stumped. Yeah, but yeah, proper proper stumped here. Good. No round. You let the open one, I like if you said the number that I had in my head, then I was cartwheeling, but yeah, I've not got it. No, cartwheeling, cartwheeling everywhere. The youngest international winner, PGA Tour. Since You're still on clue number two, brother. That's the uh, best one I well, think that, we've got to go that's, on. That's the best one. That is a that's a number three clue. That was a number two clue you just given. Mm. I've I've hit my first port and all of a sudden I'm four foot, but I'm having six foot outside the hole to try and hold it. <laughs> Listen. It's almost a guaranteed bogey. It's way too much grain on the screen. Rip it up, start again. Seven twenty P this screen. Yep, no idea. Looks like I'm hopefully tapping in for a bogey. International meaning to someone not American, isn't it? Correct. Right. Oh my God, look at Jacob. Wow, I've never seen him so focused. Yeah, that was unbelievable. I actually think that maybe I, lasers may have come yeah. out of your eyes at I, that point. I heard him think then. <laughs> it's like a dull clunking sound going there. Clunk, clunk. I'm just annoyed. But... Oh my God, was it not the person you thought it was? No. Well, oh, that's I, so I, sad I know... because it's almost as if I've set up the quiz to do that to yeah. you. Uh, well, to, for us to not get it. That's yeah. Better. <laughs> I, I actually think the uh, I think the course designer here has got a little bit annoyed about a few good holes yeah. and he's tricked this one. Yeah. Okay, go on, Matt. Please carry on. So this is the fourth. It happens. This like. is for a bogey. Go this on. is yes. So if you haven't got it now, you're going to be over par for this hole. This is shot number four of this par three. He had planned to attend the University of South Florida, but was unable to gain entry due to his TOEFL scores being too low. He had planned to attend the this University of clear. South Florida, but was unable to <laughs> gain is, entry. This is ridiculous. Just what? wait. Just no, you were doing so well with just, the clues. This just is, wait. This is really just wait. You, have you, you didn't let me finish the second time. I was going to give you a piece of, of additional information. Okay. He had planned to attend the University of South Florida, but was unable to gain entry due to his TOEFL scores being too low. TOEFL stands for Test of English as a foreign language. Test as English of a foreign language. I'm in the, I think I'm in the right area of the world with my guesses. It's mm -hmm. if I've got the right person. Do I keep that name? I love, you know what I love about this is that Pete's only written. One name. I think you folded it over every time, haven't you? Uh, I think I wrote like Billy Horschel to begin with. <laughs> oh my God, have you seen this? His Can English, you see it? His English is quite poor. <laughs> um, I'm just going to take the double or the bird. Double or bird? Double or bird. It's a way to go, isn't it? You like live, your own, live your life one half mile, at, one quarter mile at a time. Yeah, it could be, could be a couple of people. I don't know if this guy, this guy is quite young. Yeah, I, I'll stick with it. Do you look okay. confident? Hmm? Do you look confident, or you look lost? No, I'm, I'm, I'm looking a bit lost. I, I agree. I agree with Kieran. Like I thought we we're having a really well designed course, and there's a windmill on the screen. None of the, none of those clues have been any more revealing. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, I, listen, I think you're facing a pleasure for hey. here. 
if I've, it lets got, you walk if, on listen, it. If I've, got, if I've got a path, but it was great. Old, old Jay Monahan at the head of the table there. Like, you, you've got problems here. Yeah. I think you need to hold a meeting. <laughs> oh, God. We'll get onto that in next week's episode. Shot number five. So if you haven't got it now, the worst you can do on the whole is two over, which I'm about to give you the answer. So you'll be two over if you haven't got it on the previous four shots. <clears throat> shot number five. On Wednesday, February 21st, along with Denmark's Thorborn Olesen and Japan's Ryo Hisa Hisatsuni, this live golfer received an invitation to compete at this year's Masters Tournament. The flexible Chilean, Joaquin Neiman. thinking him as well. Didn't get it. Yeah, see, I, I was actually thinking him as well when he said the youngest, but like yeah, the, 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 orange, the orange balls kind of throw me off. So okay. my my understanding of when you said about that, so in American football, in college American football, they have bowl season at the end of the year. Yeah. So there is names like, like there's the Rose Bowl. There's like stupid ones as well. It's like the um, there's one that's like Pop Tarts Bowl or something like that. Mm hmm. I so I was assuming that he'd gone to college in America yeah. and played in some, but I've never heard of that in golf. I think the, or the Orange Bowl is like the two Florida universities. Right, so um, that kind of thing. Because I was I kind but of... Had... He said he was meant to get in, but then he didn't. Yeah. yeah, so that should have given you a, given it away that it wasn't what you thought it was because he didn't even go to college. So that's why, so my, I thought I'd done pretty good yeah. was Tom Kim because oh, I thought, because so he didn't go to college in America. Mm -hmm. He was... Was he the first, or is the the last person to win two PGA Tour events before the age of twenty or something, mm -hmm. or before Tiger? Yeah. And then the, but his his English is obviously pretty good. But then you said his finishes, and he finished T two last year in the mm -hmm. Open. So yeah. Um. Okay. So I am now slightly confused. Yeah. Did Joaquin Neiman go to college? Yeah. Where did he go? No. Did he go to college? Oh, is that what you're asking yeah. me? Well, we can look it up, but he didn't go to that specific college. Okay. So I will tell you what the Orange Bowl is. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so the Orange Bowl is a um, Chilean amateur kids event. Okay, so it's nothing to do with... No. <laughs> so he, when he was 14... Do you, how did we not know about the Chilean event? So it was, on, red, it was a red herring to catch you USA sports fans right in the mouth. There and was. it worked. I was kind of banking on Kieran just... Uh, yeah, I kind of really wanted you to get that one, but... Uh, yeah, no, it's just... It's unfortunate. Yeah, sorry, man. I didn't enjoy that whole bit. <laughs> <laughs> I, the The... Every oh, don't throw it away. I need these. What'd you get? You? Oh, I got I got a double. I didn't you get you doubled it. Yeah. You doubled it. I think we all did. You yeah, doubled, it. doubled it. Oh, that's so sad. What did the Discord do? The Discord were one over for the hole. So they got uh, it. They got it. Uh, that's an, uh, hey, well Gareth, done, the Discord. Fair Gareth, play. Gareth, he did great, great no, work. I've, I've, I'm going full on Zach Johnson. Here. He's lost the course. Yeah, it's lost, gone. Lost the course. You've lost it's it. Gone. Gone. Course is gone. We might we might be getting it back on next week's episode. I, hope I, so. I, I will apologize that you didn't enjoy that hole as much as the Discord did, because the Discord played it one over. You know what? And maybe that, maybe in next and maybe in tomorrow's tomorrow's round you got to play the hole again. That, maybe you'll be more aware. That was that was such a tricked up hole. That was a blind tee shot on the par three, <laughs> and the marker post behind the green was twenty <laughs> yards away what, from what the what green. What's that hole? Shishkins. Was that Shishkin? Yeah, <laughs> that was horrible. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you were all yeah. aiming at it. I hit it straight over, and I was like, "Here we go." I can't <laughs> remember. What, even there. I remember what hole it was, but yeah, the oh, marker post yeah, was, was par pointing. three. Four? Was it? That was so maybe at, like right in the middle of the green, and then actually the hole was all the way over there. Never been so disappointed. <laughs> so disappointed. <laughs> it's, it's such Honestly. a good tee shot. Third, sorry, what? not four. Third. Oh, well, we had fun. What Excellent joke. work. What um, joke. Yeah, you just didn't do as well no, as... Like, you, you didn't do you as well as I would like you to do that. Yeah, no, you know no. what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close out this podcast. Yeah. And I, I, you know, guys, well I done if you got I, it home. If you got Joaquin Neiman, if you knew about the Orange Bowl being a amateur kids event in Chile, well done. South American champion. Unbelievable. Um, you know what? I'm just going to say, guys, I, I really, really enjoyed today's podcast, apart from that last bit. And I'm not going <laughs> to... Let uh, it leave a sour taste in my mouth, okay? So I'm just going to go get a coffee. I just want to say, everyone, thank you so much for uh, listening. If you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, I know it can be tough. So <laughs> I just want to say we really, really appreciate it. Um, you know, we are those guys who will talk to you at the bus stop. And, oh, no, it's been delayed again. And you're too polite to move. <laughs> <laughs> so right, yeah. we just keep on talking, talking and, and talking yeah. and yeah. you're not saying anything in an attempt to end the conversation and yet we just go on yeah i see that as an invitation to continue and on <laughs> and on and on and you know what the, the weird thing is when the bus pulls up 
we're not even getting on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later. We just <laughs> we just sat down to talk, yeah. and yeah. that's that's where we're at right now. Oh, so. God. Thanks, guys. Thank you all for watching. And we will uh, see you next week for a review of Full Swing Season 2. Mm. See ya. See, see you later. Bye. Bye. Right, full on walk off the course, yeah, everyone.